Hey guys and welcome back to the garden. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Blanca. So today's video you guys, oh my goodness, I want to walk the garden. It is Friday. It is my day off which means that I get to spend as much time as I want in the garden. <laughs> Just looking at everything, um, doing everything, and I love, love, love Friday. So happy Friday to everyone. Um, you guys, so today I want to walk you guys um, around the garden, just show you different things. Um, first of all, I want to also tell you guys that thrips are back and I need to treat for thrips. I don't know if I'm going to do that now or if I'm going to do it later, but I have to also fertilize. So I'm going to be um, doing that today. I'm going to show you, if you guys are not aware what thrips looks like, I am going to show you because I have, oh, I have some flowers that are, um, they just bloomed and they definitely have thrip damage. So I have to start treating as soon as possible before it gets a little bit out of control. Um, but before I walk to my orchid section, I wanted to show you, I just finished mounting this beautiful tiny Vanda. Well, she's like a compact size. Um, this beautiful compact little vine, Vanda hybrid on this little wood mount from the Orchid Supply Store. Um, it looks, I mean, I think it's a perfect size because the Vanda is full grown. I mean, this is as big as she's going to get. And I think that this mount is a perfect size for her. So let me show you the tag. And it's so easy, you guys. I mean, I just wrapped her up with this um, little green wire, which is also from the Orchid Supply Store. And she seems to be fitting perfect in here. So this is a tag. It's an Asco Phoenicia AF Buckman Classic Pink Clouds with a Rincon Stylus Gigantia Variety Rubrin in purple. So, you know, I don't know if she's fragrant. She, she's been in bloom for a while and I cannot detect any fragrance on her. Unlike my other um, Neo Phoenicia Gigantia um, hybrid that I have that just bloomed underneath my um, orchid section. So anyway, just did this super, super, um, I love the way it looks. I'm going to put it in my orchid section next to my other one. But before I walk over there, let me show you what is new around here. So my Sherry Baby hybrid, look at how beautiful she is blooming now i don't know if this is my aka baby um raspberry chocolate because of course i don't have her tag i've had her for a while um but every time this one blooms i love it's a it's a pretty big flowered look at that it's a pretty big flowered um uncinium the sherry baby and it's a little bit more of a brighter um like a burgundy and it smells just like chocolate amazing amazing i love oh my goodness i love you so if you're new to my channel and you don't know <laughs> or if you're not new and you just haven't watched um lots of my sherry babies are mounted on palms they love it um, most of my collection of sherry babies is mounted um, because they love full sun they love to be always moist um i do keep some under my terrace which i've recently located to my um my orchid section uh, which are in pots but i might end up mounting those as well because my sherry babies just do amazing they love it and look at look at how pretty she is She's just gorgeous i love it i love it and they bloom year year round so that's a new bloomer and she's also a frequent bloomer they all are they all bloom non-stop i've got some also some sherry babies out here that will probably start spiking soon uh, then I also have here my Dendrobium nobili, which is also blooming. All my nobilies in my garden are blooming, you guys. I have so many different varieties, and they're all in bloom. So that's what's happening over here on this side. And then down on that other side, I've got other... Let me just walk over there. <laughs> Look at the Shamburkia, you guys. Look at this. It's still no signs of it blooming. So Schemburkia spikes get really, really long and they won't bloom for a while. Kind of reminds me of my twinkles. My, when my twinkles are in, in bud or they're starting to spike, I know it's going to be like months before I see flowers. There's another beautiful yellow Oncidium. You know, and the more I see these blooming, the more I want to just um, cover this tree with more yellow oncidiums like this. 
Look at how pretty. I love that. I, I just absolutely love it. Let's see. I've got another set of oncidiums that are going to bloom. Now, these are a little bit more white. And these I just put on my tree not so long ago. Let's see. So I do have... Oh my goodness, it smells really good around here. <laughs> not sure what it is. I do have a Pacific Water Spa Pride. And then I have a hybrid of it. Which is growing right here look at that look at this you guys so pretty now this one is the flower is a little bit bigger um the colors are very similar to the pacific waters paw pride but this is the name of this one it's a pacific waters paw pride wills picante <laughs> That's the name of that one. Then it has some other stuff under there that I can't, I can't make out. But it's a little bit bigger. It's um, it has two spikes. And it's growing there very nicely on my gumbo limbo tree. So yesterday, or um, was it yesterday or the day before, um, I was doing a video in Spanish and I, and I saw my encicli on the floor, so I had to move her. And look at how big my pineapple is getting. And, and, you know, it smells good out here, but then it also smells weird. I need to find out what's going on. I think my neighbors are fertilizing or something. Oof. This is my Pacific Waters Paw Pride. Right it's a little bit more. I think it's a little bit more yellow. I still have my, I still have my banda in my hand. Let's see. A little bit more yellow. All right, let's go to the orchid section. So I can put down my little banda. <laughs> Ah, see it's all shifted again. I gotta move move some orchids around because they're all shifted. You guys look at how beautiful and how big this Catlea is. I think this is the biggest Catlea in my collection. I mean she is huge. I'm gonna go put this one down and I'll be right back to her. Alright, so we are putting Oh my goodness, smells so good. We are putting my little adorable compact banda next to my other compact banda that smells, my goodness, smells amazing. You guys, I can't even tell you how good this orchid smells. I mean, I was walking over here and I could smell her from like, maybe like four or five feet away. This is my Vandaka Stylist Hybrid, pinky red. And it is so pretty and fragrant. So anyway, I think that my, that this fan is gonna be happy here. Here in my little grid, which is doing nice. Everything is, is doing pretty good over here. This is another compact one. So yeah, so look at this mount. This one I got from RF a few months ago. And this mount's not that big. So I don't think I don't think that one is too small for it. So they are all here, my little compacts. One, two, and three. Nice. All right, so remember I told you guys that thrifts were back? Look at this. Ugh, this is so annoying. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely this has been um, hit by thrips. Look at that. She had other buds on her. Um, they they blasted. They dried up. You see that? They dried up, and then the little flower that um, 
that bloomed is definitely definitely affected by thrips so ugh, doesn't even smell good so um and this is a beautiful this is a beautiful orchid you guys so definitely i need to come out here and treat everything because i'm pretty sure that if that's um infected with the thrips i've got others so definitely have to treat look how pretty my hoyas i wonder if hoyas get thrips hmm. i don't know I just move some orchids Look at how beautiful you guys. So this is the Cat Leia Sarah Palin Hockey Mom. I don't know if um if that's still the name of this Cat Leia. I mean, I got it years ago. I want to say like four or five years ago. And she is she is so big. I mean, look at this compared to my hand. Look at the size. I mean, she's a really really big one. Um, and she's giving me five flowers i've got three more buds on her um this one i tried to move yesterday because it was stuck in inside and i broke and i broke the bud but oh and i see another bud back there i wonder what that bud is there's another catlea budding back here so catleas are happy let's see so many cat layers in this section you guys but anyways this one is gorgeous i've i've had it here mounted for for a very long time and like i said she gives me blooms um she used to bloom every year for me now she's a little bit more picky now she's been blooming like every other year i want to say all right i gotta move all of these mandos What the weather has been, has been tricky these days. Rainy, windy. There you go. I just move these violettas around. And these violettas haven't bloomed. I hope they do soon. All right, you guys. My Nuss Moms. Look at this. So I have three different varieties under here. <laughs> I've got, let's see, I've got white and purple. this white and then purple inside oh my gosh it smells so good these have to be the most fragrant um dendrobiums i mean these dendrobium and osmonds are just like amazing so this is a white um kind of like a semi alba with a white with a purple inside and this one came from from bang Jong together with like a rink and stylist. Oh no, I am I am not telling you guys the truth. <laughs> actually, this one is from this little this one came from Bernard, actually. This one is from Bernard. And I got it in one of the um I got it in the mail actually and I unboxed it. Look how pretty. White with purple. Then I've got another one here which is all that pink and purple. Oh my goodness, it smells so amazing. So that's this one. And then I've got an all white. And this one came from Carmela. This is a pure, pure, pure white one. Look at this. Beautiful, you guys. Beautiful. Let's see. I put the new orchids that I got from Smiley from Fairchild over here. And then my Dendrobium, a Mr. Glossom is starting to bloom. So pretty. See little bugs on her. Is that ants? Yeah, there's like an ant. A few ants on her. This is the Dendrobium. I miss the blossom. And hopefully she'll be in full bloom soon. That's 
And then, what else is in here? So just kind of like evaluating everything. I love my hoyas. Um, just to see if there's, I find thrips anywhere else. Because I definitely have to fertilize and treat for thrips. So I might do the thrips treatment now and the fertilizing later on this afternoon. Or maybe vice versa. I don't, I don't know. I have to figure that out. Um, just kind of moving everything over. Very bummed out about the thrips. And um, I was actually very excited about that orchid blooming. Ha ha ha, look what I just saw all the way over there. You guys see this? There's a little red mark right there. You know what that is? That's my maxillaria. And do you guys remember last video where I was <laughs> telling telling um a lady at the Fairchild? And and um, I was telling the lady at Fairchild that my maxillaria is not in bloom. Well, I see a flower. Maxillaria, you guys. There you go. I've got one flower from this huge, huge bouquet. Yeah. Oh, and I see another bud. All right, and I see a few more buds. So my Maxillaria tenufolia has officially started to bloom. <laughs> I always, it's always the same. Every time I start complaining about them, I come out here and I see, and I see buds and I see bloom. So yeah, it's full of buds. I'm gonna move her from here because obviously all these fronds fall, are falling. So I don't want her to get damaged. So. Let's put her somewhere where I can enjoy her beautiful, her beautiful flowers. So here you go. Maxillaria tenifolia, you guys, has officially started to bloom. And this community pot I did a while ago. There's like, I wanna say there's like four flowers over here. And you know what? I have another um, set of um, maxillarias under my rubellini tree. So I will check up on those, which I'm gonna go and, how cute. Ah, <laughs> oh, and she smells good. Just like coconut. I'm gonna go check on those, um, which is where all my fertilizing stuff is. So I'm gonna go get all my fertilizers together. So um, let this uh, remind you guys um, that if you haven't fertilized this week, today's a good day. I'll be fertilizing and treating today. And hope you guys, um, you know, if it's time for you guys to fertilize, you guys will do the same. And that's it. This is today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, and hope you guys have an amazing weekend. It's Friday. So make it a good one. I will see you soon in my next video. Thank you for watching. Ooh, should I go check on the maxillarias really quick? All right, before I go, let me just walk over to my rubellini tree and see if my maxillarias under here are starting to do anything. Let's see, let's see. My fowls. All right, you guys, is anybody over here budding? I don't think so. No. No, these maxillarias under here are not, not showing any signs of starting to bud. So anyway, <laughs> That's all for today's video. Thanks again, um, you guys. Thank you for watching. I will see you soon in the next one. Bye-bye.